Hey, do you guys recognize that cup? How you been? I'm still here. Um, long time no here, guys, and I apologize for that. It's uh, it's been a long year. Um, case, well, I know you don't know. Some of you do. I shut down my business. Uh, no more good karma. The uh, it got to the point in uh, February of last year, January, uh, I just didn't have enough uh, income coming in to support the business itself. Uh, we had roughly $3,500 a month in expenses between insurance and labor. Uh, license fees, advertising, and uh, I just, I couldn't do it no more. I was uh, supporting the business with my own personal money, and uh, the stress, and I mean, when it all boils down to also needed medical insurance, I couldn't afford it done it that way, so I'm back working at the auto plant again. Um, <clears throat> so as far as electronics go, I took in a load two days ago. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, haven't been doing it for quite a while, and down here, Ohio drop-off, part that sucks about it is you have to have a certain amount of boards or you get crappy prices and well I had a receipt I have no clue where it went but either way it goes I got crappy prices uh, so but while I was there I found out they're no longer taking docking stations or digital phones so looks like I'll be taking those apart from now on. So I got to bring my digital phone and my docking stations back. But while I was there, another guy was told the same thing. So I ended up with his docking stations and his phones and a couple extras. So let's look at what we got. I don't know exactly what this is. But it's kind of cool. It's got one of these ports on it that'll fit my phone. <clears throat> I just threw this stuff over in here. That's another one of those things I just pulled out. And in the mix was a, uh, a thin client. So we'll take a look at that. I'll check and see if it works. But I haven't had no luck with them. They're all password protected every time I've tried to go in. Um, so, part of these are the docking stations I had. And all the nice, newer looking ones are the ones I picked up yesterday. And then... Old router... Uh, neck gear, router. Yeah, you ever seen this name? Rocket Fish. Yeah, kind of weird. And then, yeah, like I said, they, uh, yeah, took the new phone out, put the used phone in. Then they got, uh, what is that? That feels like something's in it. Quick installation, Ethernet virtual desktop. Brand new. So we'll check that out either way. I don't know what it is or what it does. Um... Yeah, 
here. Portable diskette drive. And this is, uh, I know there's a lot of uh, keyboards, like new old stock. <laughs> and then uh, there was a couple pieces of RAM down in here I seen. What the hell is that? I think it's just brackets. Heavy steel. Wire, wire. But yeah, I seen a couple uh, pieces of loose RAM. And then there was also, maybe that's in the box down there, uh, hang on, uh, below that is the uh, uh, digital phones that I brought back, move this real, oh gosh, it's heavier than I thought it was, motor. couple of these things, whatever they are. A couple routers. And I don't know what that is. Whether it's a thin client or a router. Let's see. 200 gig? 250 gig. Um, I'd be tempted to see if that thing works. But they are a little old. But at the bottom... Yeah, this is the one. Down there somewhere is a couple of uh, a couple of th sticks of RAM, and then uh, they got a new C CPU. Pulled the CPU out and didn't use the fan. Um, but that's it. Um, as far as electronics go, I got. This box yesterday, too. Just pulled the wire out. Uh, I got a few things set up. Uh, this is uh, basically the stuff I wasn't really working on. You know, you come across uh, old ceramics without gold. Sometimes I'll pull them off the board. Sometimes I won't. But I'm wanting to see if... Because if it's got the braze on it, let me see if the camera will, wait, no, 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 sorry, take that back, these are the dip switches, dual online, dual inline processor chips, I think, don't quote me, but I can see, Alright, yeah, here's a couple good examples. Alright, now, you see the chip right there and a little bit of braze around it. Come over here and you see nothing but braze, a little bit of gold. Now, I think that's going to be um a gold alloy braze not positive but i'm keeping it just in case um let's see i was pulling uh the heat sinks off the back of cpu chips i met i got one contact that uh I met at a yard sale. He had, uh, there were four or five keyboards sitting out. So I asked him about old computer stuff. He's like, do you know where to recycle that? I go, yeah, I'm your guy. And he actually called like a month and a half later. And I went and picked up a bunch of boards from him. That was one of them. It was so cool. He had like 10 computers. And they, everything was already broke down. The only problem with that is I didn't get no CPUs. That sucks. But, you know, I got all the boards for free. 
Have you guys ever seen the, the knight in shining armor? I got that off one of the junk removal jobs, and Jo claimed it for herself. Uh, let's see. So, this is my garage. I showed you guys last year. Um, this is my daughter's stuff, where she moved back in with us. And, basically... From this wreck, this way is my stuff. That wreck, that way, it's all her. And, <clears throat> yeah, it's been a ride, guys, let me tell you. Um, but I guess we're all going through it. We've all got our uh, war stories from the 2020s. And uh, I'm just doing what I can to survive now. The... Uh, I really wish I could have taken that junk removal company to the new heights, but um, as Joe says, it was meant to help us for a time, but our time was over. <laughs> so I apologize. It's been so long, guys. Um, I do miss making these videos, but honestly, I haven't had hardly any e-waste or whatever to tell you about and uh, I got stuck in a state of depression there for a little bit uh, didn't really want to talk about anything I'm back at the auto plant driving a forklift um, money ain't bad hours are good I work uh, like 6 to 2.30, but almost every day there's an hour overtime, so 6 to 3.30 most days. Um, and I got, uh, at a year mark, I got three weeks of vacation, plus we get two weeks of vacation throughout the year. One for 4th of July, and one for Christmas shutdown. Um, I sold my big trailer. I still got that little black one that I started with. Um, I, uh, still got the blue truck, had to change the, uh, caliper out on that yesterday, it, uh, broke down on me. I still got Jonesy, but, uh, my little girl Mac, she died, uh, last month, so I buried her in the yard. That was another rough one, but we knew it was coming. And then she just up and decided to quit eating. I think she knew it was coming too. So guys, hopefully um, I'll be back to giving you guys videos. We're, uh, it's like 45 degrees right now, but it's supposed to get back down in the 30s tomorrow. So... I guess I'm going to let you go now. Um, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. I'll try and remember to answer you back. Uh, if you guys can put up with all these apologies. Ha <laughs> ha. And uh, hopefully we can get this ball rolling on these electronics again. I, uh, I've got stuff ready for the uh, gold refiner. And... Uh, Maybe I'll break into that and show you guys what I got next time around. Mike's out. Guys, have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so this is what I started on. We'll get back to that in a little bit. And this is what else I brought in. All right, so next day, finally got finished what was in there. Real quick, another hobby my wife and I have picked up is rock collecting that's after going through the uh the tumbler for a few weeks beautiful rocks uh it's one of my favorites but didn't really come out 